Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Wadash. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for the elect, the men, women, and children, listening and learning from the servants of prophets, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and hearty Shalom to those doing the work. In truth and sincerity, building up the tabernacle of David through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai in these last days, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, Shalom. And last but not least, a hearty Shalom to the men of valor and DTA camps prophesying the downfall of this wicked queendom known as Babylon the Great as well. Shalom, Shalom. So back at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai with another lesson. Adon Rathazah, Yahweh Rathazah. May the lesson be edifying. So we'll touch on a few articles, go into some secular information and tie it all in with the scriptures. This is basically a World War Three, you know, update, so on and so forth. Don't have a title for the lesson yet. Uh, you know, but I don't write this uh, You're edified by the lesson. And let's go. So the first article we'll touch on came out today. February 2nd, 2022, a.k.a. 2023, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yashai turning up, the year of the amplification. And it reads, how the latest Ukraine escalation split the EU. So it says, in light of the Russian threat to Ukraine, the European Union seems disunited. Let's read about it a little bit. So it says concerns over a purported Russian invasion of Ukraine have been growing in the West with the United States, United Kingdom media machine and overdrive. And you keep on seeing these articles, you know, update, update, update on what's going on over there in Ukraine, you know, between Russia and the Ukraine and then the other nations that are eventually going to join the conflict, you know, if it escalates and it says experts keep talking about the country's increasing military buildup 100,000 troops on the ground as far as Russian troops and America is looking to deploy troops as well literally uh, I was going to touch on it a little bit later but hey we'll bring it out now so it says update POTUS on Tuesday, formally approved additional U.S. military deployments to Eastern Europe. And the Pentagon is expected to announce Wednesday morning that the troops will deploy in the coming days per U.S. officials to CNN. We'll touch on that a little bit later. This came out a few days ago. And this talks about uh, the split or so on and so forth, um, you know, of NATO looking like to be a split. You know, we'll see what comes out of it. And it says Putin splits NATO and cuts out Biden. Russian president agrees to hold talks with Germany, France and Ukraine as squabbling NATO countries fail to decide joint troop deployment. And Joe says he'll go it alone. This is uh, January 29th that this came out and this came out literally this morning. So we can see this thing is escalating, you know. Troops on the ground and boots on the ground. And you have America's allies, you know, starting to hold talks with Russia, you know, and eventually America's allies are going to turn on America. That's biblical prophecy, you know, and they're going to send their rockets over here. Let's read the first two paragraphs of this article and move on. So it says, experts keep talking about the country's increasing military buildup along its western borders, and every month they post almost identical images of the American uh, identical images from American satellites. The Western press is painting a vivid picture of Moscow's plan to attack from three directions, while politicians refer to some intelligence reports that describe mysterious movements of a hundred thousand troops. So. You know, Russia is flexing, you know. 
Yahweh Yashai is stirring up the Medes. Second article. And it says Poland spills beans on new U.S. troop deployment. So it says Washington to deploy 2,000 troops to Poland as more soldiers placed on high alert. So it says the United States will deploy around 2,000 troops to Poland as part of measures to strengthen NATO's eastern flank in response to potential Russian military moves toward Ukraine. The head of Warsaw's National Security Bureau revealed on Wednesday. So it says speaking on Polsky Radio 24, the country's national public service broadcaster Powell Solich announced that the American troops arriving in this country will be part of a more significant deployment of 8,500 soldiers being sent to Europe. So boots on the ground on both sides, you know, boots hitting the ground. And eventually it's going to lead to conflict. Let's go into Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, son of man, I'm gonna read again. And the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him. You know, and Magog is Russia. You know, and these are the names of the sons of Japheth, and Esau is in Japheth. That's a common misconception. You know, among, Isra among Israelites who don't have the proper understanding. It's lucky, you know. The reason why the scriptures uses the names of the sons of Japheth is because before Esau came into power, as far as the Greeks, Japheth used to occupy the lands of Europe. You know, Russia, Eastern Europe, Western Europe. So it uses the names of the sons of Japheth because... The sons of Japheth were occupying those lands, you know. Like, for example, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Raphath, and Togomar. So you see those names in the scriptures, you know. As far as end time prophecy, it's not talking about the sons of Japheth. It's talking about Esau, Edom, who's occupying those lands that Japheth used to occupy. Once again, Ezekiel 38 again from the top. And the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Because Japheth was occupying those lands, you know, Meshach, Tubal. Magog, so on and so forth, and prophesy against him. Because Russia, you know, and China, at the end of the, uh, you know, at the end, at the end, when the smoke clears, they think they're going to be sitting on top, you know. But they got another thing coming in the form of at the end of the movie, you know, the 12 tribes, are going to be in rulership, man. Starting with the elect and Yahawashai. You know? We're the future rulers, man, of the earth and beyond. And Yahawashai Shem is setting this war up for you all to destroy yourselves, man. So we're prophesying against Russia, you know, America's allies, America's enemies, Babylon the Great as well. Because they're all going to get what's coming to them, man. Those that reign one hour with the beast and those that despise America. Ezekiel 38 and 1. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, power. Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is against Esau. He's against Magog, you know, Russia, Edomites, not Japhites. Like some people who are uneducated, you know, think, you know, 
And Yahweh Bashim Yashai put that reprobate spirit on you to believe that, you know, the so-called white man is Japheth. You know, that's because you're not being studious, you know. What's that word that Sakara uses lately? You know, you're not using or applying scholarship. Ezekiel 38 and 3, and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh shot power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, more sons of Japheth, you know, Meshach, Tubal, because Japheth used to occupy those lands, you know, Eastern Europe, Russia, Western Europe, so on and so forth. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. So Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to cause them to go to the Valley of Yahweh Shapat. You know, Russia and all their allies, America and all their allies, and destroy themselves, man. You know, <laughs> you know, in the form of bombing each other, man. You know, and then he's going to destroy all the, all, all the leftover, man. You know. Ezekiel 38 and 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. Persia being the Elamites, Ethiopia being the Cushites, you know, and Libya is North Africa. Let's get, let's get the table of nations real quick. So, Persia, you know, that's Elam, you know. And also, you know, you got the, the Arabs being involved as well. You know, Ishmael, you know, so on and so forth. You know, but the Persians, that's Elam as far as the nation, you know. North Africa, Foot or Pawat in Paleo Hebrew, that's Libya. And the Ethiopians, you know. Kawash, Kush. And you have Ethiopia and Elam. They have ties with Russia as far as military ties with Russia. So if you look up Russia Indian relations, it goes into Slovakia. I had this pulled up earlier. U.S. India ties, why Putin Modi arms deal, are a problem for both China and the United States. You know, and this happened uh, a little while back, but that shows you that you know Russia and India, you know, Magog and Elam, you know, they have each other's backs. You know, they're allies. Russia, Ethiopia. Russia Ethiopia Inc. Military Cooperation Agreement. And this is December 7th, 2021. You know? So, Magog and Ethiopia, Kush, are allies. And all these nations, you know, as far as uh, Elam, the Ishmaelites, you know, Iran, you know, Egypt, they're all going to nuke Babylon the Great, man. And it says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. So Russia's allies, you know, are going to join Russia to fight America's allies, you know. Gomer and all his bands the house of Togomar of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Once again, the sons of Japheth are mentioned because Esau is occupying those lands. He's a culture vulture, man. He'll occupy the land and then take on your customs and call himself you. Like he's doing in the Holy Land, you know.
Jeremiah 49 and 20. Let's get this article real quick. And it reads, Russia refuses Israeli demand to stop jamming GPS of flights into Tel Aviv. So you got Russia, you know, basically using, you know, you know, uh, cyber attacks on the Tel Aviv airport, you know, let's just read it. Russia has refused an Israeli demand to resolve the electromagnetic interference from its air base in Syria on a on the GPS of planes landing in Tel Aviv, further impacting relations between the two. According to the Khan News, that's spiritual, according to the Khan News channel yesterday, Israel sent a letter to Russia stating that the defense systems at the Russian Kami Kamiamin Air Base in the Syrian port of Lakadia, Latakia, are causing electromagnetic interference in the GPS systems of planes landing in the Israeli capital. So Russia's jamming them, man, you know? Flexing muscle, you know? On the house of Amalek, Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of Adawan Yahabashim Yashai that he that had taken against Edom, and all these are Edomites in the form of, you know, the Amalekites, Magog, Babylon the Great, you know, the Americans, the major players in this thing, you know, that are going to get this thing catapulted to the next phase, man. You know, Britain. You know, Germany, you know, America and all their allies, you know, as far as NATO, that those are all Edomite nations, you know, Israel, more Edomites, you know, Magog, Russia, Edomites, man. But all the allies of, you know, America, Russia, they're going to jump in, you know. And what's happening over there in Ukraine is looking like the beginning stages of World War III because the players that are talked about in end-time prophecy, they're peeking their head over the fence or they're directly involved, you know? Jeremiah 49 and 20, Therefore hear the counsel of Adawani Yahawabashim Yashai, that he that had taken against Edom and his purposes, that he had, purp that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Talking about Israel. You know, the Amalekites over there in our land. The small hat people, the 1948ers. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Because, you know, when Israel draws Babylon the Great into that conflict, it's going to lead, you know, into... All hell breaking loose, man. And you got Russia basically taunting Israel, man. You know, at their airport, man. Jamming their GPS signal, man. You know? Yep. Jeremiah 49 and 21. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. Talking about when the nukes hit Babylon the Great. You know, the earth shall root to and fro like a drunkard. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Huge mushroom clouds, man, all over the place, man, in Babylon the Great. You know? A big, fiery map. That's what Babylon the Great is going to look like when those nukes hit, man. Obadiah 1 and 1, the vision of, Ob the vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. What rumor? The report. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Because eventually, you know, America's allies are going to turn on America. 
you know, Great Britain, Russia, uh, excuse me, Great Britain, Slovakia, um, Germany, France, you know, Australia, you know, so on and so forth. All the American allies are going to turn on America, man. NATO's going to turn on America and burn her with fire. Obadiah 1 and 1, the vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. That rumor is the report. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Obadiah 1 and 2, thou art greatly despised. Slack you. Just had it pulled up. Um, excuse my internet where I'm at. I got the I got the sword right here. I'll just get out the sword because my internet's tripping. I'll just read out the scriptures. Bear with me. One second. While I go to the sword. Lock you. Internet's tripping where I'm at. Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And America's greatly despised, man. You know? By Magog, Iran, you know, Afghanistan, Libya, you know? <laughs> China, North Korea, the list goes on and on and on. And eventually they're allies. Germany, NATO. And it reads, U.S. to deploy 3,000 troops to Romania, Poland, Germany. And it says United States Department of Defense. This is two hours ago. Yep. And it says Germany blocks NATO ally from transferring weapons to Ukraine. So they block from they block Estonia, but yet from transferring aid as far as artillery artillery Slovakia to the Ukraine, you know? And then an article came out two days ago that says Germany isn't turning its back on NATO. It only looks that way, but eventually they are, you know. We'll see all these events play out, you know, step by step. But that's what it's looking like. And the fact that they're holding talks with Russia, you know, it's not looking good for Babylon, you know. Because eventually all those, you know, NATO nations are going to turn on Babylon and burn her with fire. And it reads, the last article, Putin names possible reason for Russia NATO war. And this came out yesterday. If NATO allows Ukraine to join the bloc, it might end a disaster. It might end in disaster, Russia's president says. You know? Just read this first paragraph. The possibility of Ukraine joining NATO poses a threat to European security as it creates the grounds for a major conflict between Moscow and the military bloc. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned on Tuesday. So, things are escalating, man. You know, and call all your halbashim yashak, because as things are escalating, other things are happening. You know, the House of Saul, you know, they're waxing worse and worse. The gathering of the elect is happening. You know, the Karagma, it's here. You know? The camps, you know, the concentration camps, they're in place. You know? Esau, Edom, ready to accuse, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as being the cause of all this hysteria that's happened the past two and a half years. You know? That's in the works. The past two plus years, better yet. You know? The Great Famine. All these things are happening at once. 
and also eventually the fan of the word. You know, brothers are constantly getting their videos taken down because of, you know, YouTube guidelines and so on and so forth. And happen to go to other platforms. And eventually those other platforms, you know, they're going to be obsolete too. Because as Esau Edom is looking to crown his enterprise, he's going to take away, you know, the ability for us to get the word out to you. And that's the fan of the word. You know? So all these things are happening at once. And this is a beautiful time to be alive. A beautiful time to be awakened. You know, a beautiful time to be in the spirit. So let's close on out with Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, Nato, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. You know, let's get Luke 12 and 49 because this is a build up to Yahweh Shah returning. Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth and what I will. Luke 12 and 49 again from the top, I am come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it be already kindled? So when Yahweh Shah returns, you know, America, Babylon the Great is already going to be on fire, you know. He's going to return in the midst of World War III, you know, while countries are nuking each other, so on and so forth, and destroy their armies and then head westward and, you know, bring salvation unto the elect. You know, as the nukes are dropping, you know, he's going to beam up the elect, man, you know. And the first way he's sending fire upon the earth right now is this word, you know. Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Yehovah Shemiah Shai, power of hosts, power of armies, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. And this word is devouring Esau, Edom. It's devouring the house of Saul. It's devouring the heathen nations. It's devouring Christianity, Islam. You know, everything that comes up against this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, this word is devouring. You know, Yahweh Shai is undefeated. You know, and we're coming into a tremendous blessing, man. And you got to keep that in mind. You know, what we're coming into, you know, you can't even imagine it. In its fullness in this body you're going to need a new body for it man you know but all these things have to happen world war three you know and so on and so forth so i don't wrap this how this lesson was edifying and until next lesson shalom dta wa ababa ba